and welcome back to lesson 10 of basic CNC programming. In this lesson we'll be talking about basic M codes used in a CNC mill program. So far we've covered G codes which are basically used to create part geometry. But M codes are used to turn on machine functions such as turning the spindle on and off, the coolant pumps on and off, and make some tool changes, among other things. So let's take a look at this program and see what M codes are used to turn things on and off and some other mechanical functions. All right, so let's start reading at the top of the program and let's just work our way down and look at the sequence of events and where M codes are used and what they will do. All right, so very, at the very top of the program, we have our program number in a brief description. Then our N number is just a placeholder. It's just a sequence number that helps us find things easier in the program as we're scrolling down or doing the search. Normally what I'd like to do is if I use tool number one, I start that sequence with an N100. So the tool number times 100. Then right below that I give it a brief description of what that tool does. The next line is a safety line where we turn things on or off. And then we make a home out move in Z because we need to make a tool change and that is usually done at Z home position. So right here we have our first M code, the M6 M code. The M6, what it does is it does a tool change. Normally we have a tool arm that takes the tool holder out of the spindle and puts it into the magazine and loads the tool that was prepped in the magazine and sticks it in the spindle. So I put a brief description next to it to make sure that uh, you can take notes if you would like. Then once the tool is in the spindle, then we need to turn the spindle on. We're going to turn it up to 2000 RPM. And the M3 is the next M code used, and that will turn the spindle on in a clockwise rotation. Now, most end mills that you'll be using are going to be right-handed end mills, and they will be turning clockwise, so therefore an M3 is used. Now, if for some reason you have an operation where you need to turn it counterclockwise, we'll use the M4 for counterclockwise rotation. So then we'll go on and we position our tool, getting ready to make our first cut. We come down, we get the offset of the tool and we wrap it down to Z0. And then we have our next M code, and that is the M8 M code, which turns on the flood coolant. All right, so then we go ahead and do our geometry, and we're done with our geometry, our rough pass around the square. We wrap it back up to Z1 inch, and then we turn off the spindle with an M5 M code. Now notice that I have these M codes on separate lines, and you would think, well, why don't we just put them on the same line? But most, if not all, controls would only like one M code per line. Always separate out your M codes. So again, I put a brief description next to it. If you want to take note of that, M9 turns the coolant off. Remember, we had an M8 up here to turn the coolant on. M9 turns it off. Then we're homing out the spindle in the Z axis. So we're homing out in X and Y. And then we have the next M code, which is M1. And that means optional stop. There's a button on the control. If the button is pushed and it's lit up and it sees an M1, the machine will actually stop, let you take some measurements or blow off the chips or any other thing that you want to do. So it, it basically pauses the machine until you hit cycle start again and it moves on. So let's continue down the program here. Uh, again, this is a sequence number N200. Remember, tool number 2 times 100. So that is just a sequence number which helps us find that segment of the program a lot easier. All right, then a brief description of what that operation is going to do. Again, a safety line. We want to make sure that we go home in Z 
to make our tool change then we repeat the same thing over tool number two we're going to make a tool change then the next line we turn the spindle on clockwise rotation we wrap it into position we turn on the m8 which is the flood coolant on and we finish our geometry go up one inch to clear the part and then turn the spindle off turn the coolant off and then the m30 which is actually the end of the program and when it sees the m30 it knows it's it's the end of the program and it rewinds it back to the top and stops and waits for the next cycle start so the second section seems somewhat redundant but what i want to point out to you is that the top portion of this program from here to there is a mini program inside of the program and then also this second section is a mini program inside of this program because you can restart at this N200 number and run that portion of the program all by itself so all these M codes will have to be repeated just like you did in the first section of the program so that covers basic M codes used in a CNC mill program Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.